Hey guys, uh, this is just a little update video to the drawing app that I had. I'll, li I'll link that first video in the description using my Leap Motion, which allows for hand tracking, as you can see. Um, before, when you brought up your left hand uh, like this, so it was facing you, it would make a color palette. Instead, as you saw, I now have a hue bar, which you can pinch with your right hand and select a new color to draw with. And that's that's the biggest change. Um, besides that, um, you can now erase by swiping. It makes a bunch of little cylinders. Uh, I'm not sorry. Or, <laughs> sorry, little cylinders. I meant big cylinders. It, they're invisible though. I think they're they're about eight times the size or width of these. Um, so when you go like this, it's actually getting a bit bit more close to the area of your actual hand um, and in addition to that uh, this vector for making my interface show up is finally correct that's the wrong hand there we go um, so that it will as long as you're facing uh, the local upward position of the camera the interface will pop up and able to adjust the slider at any point. Uh, those are the main differences in terms of uh, just playing it, user cap capability. Um, in terms of Unity, the the code used to be in different pieces before. Uh, you can probably see here there is probably four, five different pieces of code. Uh, needed and they're each put on each hand um, I think the right hand had two and the left hand had one uh, anyway now it's all taken care of by the hand listener which is now a game object an empty game object don't know why it has a box collider uh, <laughs> but that that listens to the hands and does all the drawings and stuff now um, and for the erasing, uh, the there's a script on, or I attach a script to the objects, the cylinders made when I swipe, uh, that have a on trigger enter actually, and when it's triggered, the cylinder that it hits, as well as itself, will be destroyed. And if it doesn't hit anything, then it just uh, destroys itself after. Points two seconds, I believe. Um, so I don't think there's any. Yeah, there's no problems with uh, it lasting too long. Um, and those are the main differences. I think from here I might try to get this working on my uh, Gear VR, even though there may be some challenges to export it. And currently, Leap Motion is not supported. There's no plugin to the Gear to allow it to transfer data, so I might have to do that through an external uh, board or Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Uh, I sent an email to a Leap Motion developer to see about that. Um, but yeah, I think I might move into a new app after that. Thanks for watching.